Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraftastic, and Walmart has a few new Happy Planner items that came out within the last few weeks, I believe. I am not as much into Happy Planner as I used to be because I found that being limited to a specific layout every week can be a little boring for me. So that is one reason why I use the B6 Stylogy for my everyday planner so that I can change it up and keep it interesting. But I could not pass up these deals from the Happy Planner. The sticker book doesn't have the typical amount of pages that you would see from the Happy Planner, but we'll get into that. We'll, we'll do that one, do a flip through of that in a moment. This is the one that I chose. Um, I've only seen one other cover style or one other style, but as far as I know, both of the planners that I've seen have the same layout and the layout is very simple. It's called Simply Layout, Classic Simply Layout. The, this is the classic size. Um, it's a 12 month planner that starts in July, 2023, ends June, 2024. So yes, it is dated. This is a typical classic size uh, planner from Happy Planner. It's seven inches by nine and a quarter inches. It has clear plastic discs. I thought that was really nice. I mean, I know a lot of people only like metal discs, but I really do like a nice clear disc. It looks really nice on this planner. This is what the cover looks like. It says, this is your year. It has like the, ant I don't know if that's the antique gold, but it's the light, lighter colored gold foil so you got paint swatches and then the floral design in the foil on top it's very pretty and then this is what the back looks like with the happy planner branding there's no foiling here it just has the floral in white so there is what the cover looks like okay so i like their new packaging also it's been a while, again, it's been a while since I even looked into what was going on with the Happy Planner because I didn't want to get FOMO and I just kind of ignored everything Happy Planner until I saw these in Walmart and I was like, okay, let's check it out. And I, I will buy Happy Planner on clearance, of course, but yeah, this is like a new release kind of thing. So let's go ahead and take off this packaging. And this is what the inside cover looks like. It's got some paint splatters there. The back inside cover is the same. Plan a happy life. And of course you can take these off, flip them around and use something like that for your front cover if you want. That's the cool thing about the disc system. You can move things around, change things, add to it, take away do whatever you like here it says customize your planner with the disc bound system i see a little mar on the cover already don't like that we'll deal with that later okay so here we go the title page where you put your name happy hello this happy planner belongs to plan a happy life 2023 2024 then you have the year at a glance for 2023 and 2024 very minimal and monochrome, no colored accents, no grayed areas. The only decorative element is the little dots down the spine area. Then this is, it starts in July. So this is the July, we will say currently page, even though it's not currently, it asks for your three priorities. It has a space, a grid space for important and take note very simple love it and it's not so specific so you can use these sections for anything pretty much then we get into the J july monthly again monochrome no color it's very very simple simply layout then this is the dashboard layout however you don't have the actual dashboard you just have the days of the week and the extra box the eighth box or the first box however you want to look at it has monday through sunday on the lines of course you don't have to use that i had a specific idea on how i want to use this but now i'm not so sure because i like that it has this this would help me in planning 
um, some social media things, even though I already have a work planner that I'm using, this little feature right here could be enough to make me switch. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But yes. So you have the Monday through Sunday and then the date. Very basic, simple. Love it. This is probably one of the best layouts the Happy Planner has ever done. I've actually considered using this as a commonplace book or just tracking specific things for the day. Uh, this could be great as a body book. I like that there's just a small space for each day. So nothing too overwhelming. It's lined so you can keep everything straight and nice and neat. And it's just a lovely, lovely planner. I'm really taken with it. Makes me want to go back and get the other one. <laughs> then you have the whole page here for notes. Then we start into August. So all of the months will repeat the same way. Again, this is 12 months. And this is what the dashboards look like. I'm not really into dashboards that much. These are very nice and subtle. Uh, kind of like a pastel muted tone to them. So this is October. This is November. The journey is just as important as the destination. This is December. Then we get into January. Okay, so I think this one is a little bit of a fluke or an error because I think it's yellow on this side, which you can barely see it, but then it's black on this side. I wonder why they did that. Let me look at the other tabs. Okay, so they are different colors, but this one you can barely see. No biggie. Uh, February, then this one is March. Life is as good as you make it. Then we have April. Keep dreaming. This is May. And then this is June. This is your year. And then in the back, let's see. We get note pages. And then that's the back cover and the back of the planner. So very simple. This is a look at the layout style of this planner. And I really, really like this. So I have until July to decide firmly which way I'm going to go with this because I do plan on using it. These um, happy planners are 19, it's either 1999, 1997. It's $19, almost $20 around that range in Walmart. There is the planner. I'm very happy that I picked it up. Let's move on to the sticker book. So this is not your typical uh, happy planner sticker book that the usual 30 page books. This one is called Teeny Florals from the Happy Planner Classic Sticker Sheets and 190 pieces. It doesn't say how many pages. But yes, it does. Contains 10 sheets. This is $9.99. I'm not sure that that's a great bargain, but I do know that the price of the regular Happy Planner sticker books went up. I haven't purchased one at the regular price in forever. So I don't even know what the regular price is. If you know, let me know in the comments below. But this is what this sticker book is looking like. It's florals, of course. Um, and you got the monthly boxes and headers, quotes. And this has the light gold foil accents. These are clear stickers also. The circles with quotes. So these are like colorful boxes, but they have deco. Then we have the gold foil florals. More headers, appointment boxes, to-do stickers, florals. And more of the circle stickers or seals. 
And then that is it. That is it for the Teeny Florals book. So it seems like it would be more than 190 pieces, but I'm sure they know. So that's it. This is all from Walmart by the Happy Planner. And I'll be on the lookout to see what else they have. I did see the pen and gear disbound planner, but I didn't purchase it. It was $14.90 something. I will share the footage with you. The reason that I didn't get it is because it had lots of blacked out spaces in it. And it just, I don't know, it had a lot of grayed areas and I really don't like that. And the layout wasn't really working for me, but I'm sure it would work for others. So that's why I'm going ahead and sharing that with you. It is a good deal for a disbound planner and these planners can be used for any purpose. Like you could do meal tracking with this. You could do work every day. You could do faith journaling. You could do quotes. You could track health and fitness. So you don't necessarily need a specific planner that is designed for the task that you are doing. You, especially with a simple layout like this, you could use this for anything, for budgeting, anything. And I think that is the benefit of having a planner that is just simple and basic without all the color, without all the prompts. Keep it simple, then you can use it for anything you want. So that's it, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and you may be interested in this other video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.